world is brought to you by Honda Motorcycles and ATC Three-Wheelers. Honda, follow the leader. And by Ford and your local Ford dealer who invite you to test drive the 1985 Ford trucks. Ford is America's truck built Ford tough. Hello, I'm Larry Myers and welcome to Moto World, the series that showcases the exciting and fascinating world of motorcycle racing. On this edition of Moto World, we'll venture to Houston, Texas for the Camel Pro Series opener. We'll update you on the AMA Supercross season. Four events have been held since our last edition and we have all the highlights. We'll also profile a retired motorcycle racer who's making a comeback, this time on four wheels. But first, let's go three-wheeling through upstate New York's Winter Wonderland, the event the AATVA's three-wheel Grand National Championships. Bobak reports. They call it the Lake George Winter Carnival, and it has become an annual tradition for winter sports fanatics. For five consecutive winter weekends, racers come from all over the U.S. to compete in various motorsports activities on the frozen lake. On this weekend, the Lake George Resort area was hosting the second round of the American All-Terrain Vehicle Association Three-Wheel Grand National Championships. The AATVA has introduced a new 12-race series for 85, which will crown national champions in six pro classes. But besides the pros, the AATVA sanctions competition in 20 amateur classes with riders as young as six years old. Over 480 entries from as far as California and Florida came to compete in the three-day event. Despite temperatures approaching the zero-degree mark, the three-wheel enthusiasts raced each day till darkness covered the tundra-like lake. Number 111 is Jackie Meadows, a 14-year-old Missouri native who's touted as the premier amateur three-wheel rider in the country. Despite his tender age, Jackie knows what it takes to be a success. You just got to play it cool. We gotta watch what everybody else does. Jackie did play it cool, and he kept a careful watch on his fellow competitors, although most of them were watching the rear end of his machine all weekend. Jackie, number 111, lived up to his reputation, winning two classes and finishing second in another. If Jackie Meadows is considered the top amateur, then this man must be considered the top pro. Jimmy White of Irvine, California. Jimmy is number 31 and is rumored to be the highest paid pro rider in the three-wheeler ranks, taking home about a hundred grand a year. Jimmy Ryan for Team Kawasaki and his claim to be number one would be disputed if you carried that opinion over to Team Honda. Team Honda is the dominant force in three-wheel competition, although Jimmy makes a good living at giving them a run for their money. The Lake George round of the AATVA series is the only race run on the ice, and as far as Jimmy is concerned, he'd like to keep it that way. Ice racing is great for the people that live back here, but I'd rather race in California where it's warm and on dirt. I, the ice racing is just, if I was back here all winter racing on the ice, I'd probably like it because I'd be more used to it, but just coming back here and trying to race on it, one race is kind of near impossible to be competitive. Even though Jimmy didn't care much for the ice, he showed what kind of competitor he was in the 250cc final on Sunday. At the start of the 10-lap main event, Jimmy number 31 was laboring back in the middle of the pack. He could have easily conceded the race and blame his performance on the treacherous conditions, but instead, he mounted a charge to the front. The slippery seven-turn mile and a quarter track was not conducive for such a charge, but Jimmy went for it. He found that he could overtake his competitors on this fast left-hand sweeper. By the halfway point, he was in third spot on the next lap at the very same spot He used the left-hand sweeper again to his advantage to take over second. The only rider ahead of him now was number seven, Steve Mendenhall, out of Gardner, North Carolina. The two battled as the laps wore down. Jimmy tried his patented move on Mendenhall, but the Tar Heel rider was having none of it. Two laps remained, and it looked as if Jimmy's charge would fall short. Jimmy tried one more time to get past his rival. This time, it worked. Once in front, Jimmy gave the thumbs up and cruised to victory. It was a fantastic come-from-behind win for Jimmy White and one he'll remember for a long time. The AATVA Tour now moves to sunny Florida for round three on April 6th and 7th at Hialeah Speedway. Reporting for Motor World, this is Bo Bach. Flavor of Trident Sugarless Gum. It's so fresh and soft. 
Taste the one that'll win you over to sugarless gum. Trident sugarless gum. Tough guy personified. Jack Lambert, how do you get a smooth shave that's not tough on your wallet? Get personified. Get persona. In 1940, 